make you go. You know, these aren't jokes. These are thoughts. These are things that make you say. This may seem terrible, but my God, I didn't know you were black. Make their warm and sultry total debut with Southern Gal, featuring wherever you are, in stores November 14th. Great. Good. So good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. You come in rearranging things already. Those flowers belong back here next to Halle Berry. How'd they get out of here? I had a little sunshine right there. Something. <laughs> the table looks so lonely. <laughs> it's because we don't sit up here and kick our feet up oh, and yeah. go to sleep. I understand. <laughs> Where's Sherry? Sherry's sick tonight. Oh, Sherry, I hope you feel better. She will appreciate that, I'm sure. I miss yeah. Sherry. Yeah, I do too. I mean, it's just one night. Sherry's never sick. Don't you feel lonely? I do. Now you know Until how you I came, feel. man. I was like, shit, I'm all right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you feel that way too. You yeah. feel lonely right now? Oh, yeah. It's scary out here. Oh, I'm sure. You know, last time I was here, I was with my girls. Right. So have you performed yet with that? Yeah, I did um, Nickelodeon last week, and I did CBS this morning week before last. Uh -huh. And it was scary. <laughs> really? <laughs> it was terrifying, as a matter of fact. <laughs> look to your left, look to your right. And nobody's there, <laughs> you know. But I'm handling it. Yeah, I mean, you get over that eventually, I'm sure. I, I would imagine anyone that came from a group went through that initially. Yeah. yeah. But now... Let's clear this up right away. In Vogue still exists, right? In Vogue is still in existence. Um, we're on hiatus right now. We're due to be back in the studio next year. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So right now everyone's just venturing out doing solo projects. Dawn, is, um, she's working on her solo project now. She's established a production company. Mm -hmm. Max and Cindy are acting, and Cindy is nurturing her family. Yeah. Yeah. So she's the only one that has a child, right? Right. Uh -huh. And a husband. And a husband. Yeah. The only one with the husbands. We're all still single. <laughs> except Cindy. <laughs> you say that like you don't want to be. Do no, you want to be? No, or? I'm doing just fine. <laughs> <laughs> we got some guys around here now that would, you know, be more than willing. I'm okay right now. put a ring on your finger tonight. Oh. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> then you'll be getting me in trouble. Okay. All right. I'll get out of that. <laughs> when is your album coming out? November 14th. Okay. Who did you work with on it? Tommy and Denny. Oh, so the, uh, Tommy and Denny are the guys who did um, all of the In, um, in Vogue albums. That's so. right. Um, I also worked with a group called Something for the People, mm -hmm. who did a tune called I Don't Want to Wait Till Tomorrow on the album, co-written by Carol Riddick, mm -hmm. a wonderful vocalist, and she was really, really nice enough to let me do that song, too. Um, and Marlon McClain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's great. So with Tommy and Denny doing most of the album, is it close to the sound of En Vogue, or how do they make it different from that? Or do you want it to be different? I want it to be different, because, you know, now what you're seeing is Terry, the Terry and what she brings to the whole En Vogue concept, so I, I wanted it to be different. And it's it's influenced by a lot of the music that I listened to growing up. Mm -hmm. it, just, it, was, it was great. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's got a real nice, relaxed, cool, cool vibe. How many years have you actually been singing now? When did En Vogue first hit? What year was that? 1990. Okay, so it hasn't been that long. No. You guys had a lot of success real fast. Yeah, Did real, you? real fast. Were you surprised by it? We were extremely surprised. <laughs> were you prepared for it at all? We weren't prepared, and um, I think the hiatus is really good because now it gives everybody a chance to reflect mm -hmm. on the things that have happened, and, um, you know, we get a chance to think about where we want to go next. What, Holidays. Yeah. I mean, and I'm sure they conflict sometimes. Well, yeah. I mean, it's that's a, a human element. I think the most important thing is that we respected each other. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if I learned nothing else, that... Like, we're just doing I our know. individual projects, and then yeah. and it never happens yeah. to get back together. Yeah, I understand. But you guys really are just on hiatus. We're hiatus. expected to be back in the studio next year. Okay. I don't have a date, but we're expected to be back in well, there we'll next year. We'll get you a date tonight. Okay. You want a date? No, Donnie, oh, not like oh, that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> see, my boys, the camera crew, would tell me, man, hook me up, man. When you get up there, man, if you get see any opening, hook me up, get man. Out. <laughs> You're going to perform for us, huh? <laughs> Did you see that? No, what happened? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably throwing phone numbers at you. Anyway, <laughs> uh, you are going to perform for us. Yes, later. I am. Okay. First single from the album, Wherever You Are.
right, we'll look forward to it. Terry Ellis, Thank our you. guest tonight here on Video Soul. The album again is in record stores on November 4th. November 14th. The single is out now. Yeah. It was released October 17th. And the single's doing very well for you, yeah. too. Congratulations Thank on that you. success. Thanks. Okay. All right. Terry Ellis performing for us later on right here on Video Soul. Right now, we're going to go back. Actually, it says here, a blast from the past, but I won't say that because you won't call like it that. A blast from the past. <laughs> Make it seem like it's so old. I know. <laughs> and it's not that old, but it was the first hit. And you guys were everywhere with this one. This is Hold On from In Vogue here on Video Soul. <laughs> Make her warm and sultry solo debut with Southern Gal, featuring wherever you are, in stores November 14th. Thank you. 
that make you go, you know, these aren't jokes, these are thoughts, these are things that make you say, this may seem terrible, but oh my God, I didn't know you were black. Okay, huh, man. Now you guys know. Well, of course I'm the mighty one, Angel Snub Number Seven, and uh, you know that I don't really deal with entertainment type stuff. But uh, I was just going through my music collection and uh. I was looking for all my Invo albums, and of course, many of you know, I love me some Invo. Love those sisters. Where, where my Invo at? Love Invo. Okay, I'm going through the collection, right? Okay, and uh, I have all the albums. I have all the albums prior to uh, Don Robinson leaving Envo. Invo. And out of all the records, I don't I apologize. I really I want to apologize to my soul sister, Terry Ellis. I got a crush on Terry. Yes, I do. I have a crush on, on Terry. Terry. Terry Ellis just rediscovering uh Invo, but especially Terry Ellis. And I'm I thought for sure I bought her album and I, I'm looking through all my discs and uh Terry, I don't have your album, but uh, I got it now. So uh, I, I want to review the album very quickly. It's called uh, Southern Gal. Southern Gal. Where is it? Right there. Southern Gal. You get a chance, check it out. Check her album out on YouTube. Make sure you pick that album up. And uh, what made me really start listening to Terry Ellis again was uh, this song right here. Terry sung this song. She really did. She, she sung this song. You can't stay away. You can't stay away. Can't stay away. Something like that. And uh, she really blew that. Let me tell you something. My soul sister, Terry, she should, she should be on the level of divas like uh, Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston, Aretha Franklin, Soul Sister can blow for real. I mean, pow! No doubt about it. She, she, she got me. I have to support my Soul Sister, Terry, because as you know, I'm Soul Brother number one, and I have to get with everything that's so. If you listen to her album, it's mid-tempo, and uh, it's just real smooth. Just got that vibe. It's it's soulful. It's soulful. That's that's how you can uh, that's how you can describe it. Now watch. She, she's blowing. She's blowing. And uh, wow, I'm not a very good music critic, as you can see. I don't have to criticize anything. There's nothing to criticize. Now this is a cut from the album. She's a lady. Terry Ellis. Her album Southern Gal. Like I said, get the album. Check it out on YouTube. Get this sister's album. And make sure if you ever see her in person, you tell her that Angel Snub Number Seven, Soul Brother Number One, is plugging and returning back to 1995 because we need to we need to review some of this. a lot of our music. We need to forget this Grammy garbage, whatever. We need to start recognizing our own self. This album, I don't know how I 
missed it. It was, I guess, because I'm a Michael Jackson fan at heart. I'm sorry, Terry. I'm a Michael Jackson fan. I'm sorry, Unvog. I'm, a, I am at heart. I'm a Michael Jackson fan. But y'all very much on my list, especially Sister Terry. Where my, where my sister at? She's a lady. There go my sister with a hat on. Go ahead, Terry. She's singing it. All right, get that album. Uh, Southern Gal. It's an unsung album. Definitely unsung. This sister has so much talent. She got it going on. Got it going on in more ways than one. Hopefully, in this lifetime, I'll be able to meet my sister, Terry Ellis. In the meantime, y'all, this is Angel Slim Number 7. Excuse me, not a music critic, but I just had to bring this to your attention so this sister can get the credit she deserves. She is on the level. I'm telling you, Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston, they really needed to watch out. Till next time, y'all.